This is a quick walkthrough of the G Weasel GUI and how to write uh, an existing image to a uh, a new uh, floppy disk, right? So I have with me a uh, pre-formatted HDD floppy, um, IBM formatted floppy, and I have a Grease Weasel drive. I actually have four Grease Weasel drives. Um, but we're only going to use one for this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've already installed the Grease Weasel um, host tools and the G Weasel GUI. So we'll be doing this in the G Weasel GUI. So I'm going to load it here. Uh, my device is going to be de device 12, which is my fourth drive. And um, that uh, I have four drives installed because the WinUAE emulator allows me to add four drives and it reduces disk swapping. So I'm going to uh, format, I'm going to image a fresh HD floppy with um, an ADF image. Now, when I select the action right here, that means I'm writing to the physical floppy. In the right parameters, you can see the two double arrows here. This means this is being pushed up to the floppy, pushed to the floppy. If it was pointing to the right, it would mean I am reading from the floppy. It's pointing to the left, so it means I am sending this file, which isn't there yet, to the floppy. So since I am sending a file to the floppy, the existing button is available. Existing means there's an existing file on my hard drive that I'm going to send to the floppy. If I wanted to create a new file on my local hard drive, it, the new file button would be available, but write is sending a file to the floppy. So we're going to click the existing and I'm going to go ahead and select from my ADF library um, Amiga OS. We'll just do Amiga OS 3.1 Workbench ADF. Now uh, just in case ADF is not selected uh, it may default to A2R which is not uh, will not show you any files. So you got to make sure you select over here uh, ADF or whatever file format you're using. There are a plethora of file formats available. And um, once you use one, it's going to remember that and it's going to and it's going to have that as the default selection. So we're going to select here the uh, not 2.1. We're going to do 3.1 installation. So we're going to do uh, Amiga OS 3.1 install disk, ADF. Okay, now we can see the file, the path here, and that is being pushed because of the double arrows to the left is being pushed to the floppy drive. The, the format type is going to be Amiga DOS. So this is a double density ADF image. And so basically I need to select the appropriate uh, density. There is also the Amiga DOS HD, which is the high density, but this one's double density, so we're going to select this. Now these are all the format types. If I wanted to use, make my own format, for instance, if one of these format types does not serve the purpose, I can make my own DiskDef file using the DiskDef builder. Uh, but we won't get into that in this video. Now, I have put in a fresh uh, HD floppy. And I am going to execute the command with the elapsed time. However, this will not work. And I'll explain that in just one minute. Uh, verify failure. So if you're getting this, it's because you're using an HD floppy and you're trying to write a double density uh, track to it. With the drive recognizes that this is an HD floppy because it has a little hole in the corner. And the little hole in the corner tells the drive that this is an HD floppy. So you need to cover that hole 
with uh, some scotch tape or some other method. I use scotch tape um, and I will cover the hole on the floppy so that the, the, the physical hard drive recognizes it as a double density disk. So it needs to be physically configured to be double density because we are writing double density. So I'm going to try this again with the hole covered. And let's see what happens. Okay, no errors this time, and it writes fine. So now um, that is the trick, basically, to writing a standard double density to a new, fresh, floppy. Uh, let's say you backed up all your original uh, floppies, and some of sometimes those original floppies will develop errors, and uh, you need to create a new floppy. Um, you can grab a, a new pre-formatted IBM HD floppy and um, cover the the HD the HD indicator hole, and then you can image it with your ADF file. All right, it's done imaging. We're going to go ahead and go to our WinUAE emulator. And we're going to load the configuration. I'm going to load uh, the Amiga 4000. Um, the ROM here is Kickstart 3.1. That's good. Floppy drives. I've installed all, all all four of my Grease Weasel drives. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. All right. Start it up. I'm going to insert the, that disk that I just imaged. And there it is. Install. 3.1.